coach Tony Morgan and today's video is on a Gledhill Lechmate 2000 so I've been called out to the spoiler um, someone else has been here before us and said it's blowing fuses so we just arrived on site we took the cover off I'm going to go through and find out what's going on so what we're going to do first we're going to do a parity check just to make sure the power's off to the unit so I've got my assistant Mark with me today in this video, so he's going to help me through the diagnostics. So Mark, what we're going to do, is you come here, so this is the main fuse, so this is mm -hmm. the, the cable coming in here. Right. So you can see the black, which is a neutral, mm -hmm. and the red, that's alive, and it goes through this fuse, these two fuses, so that wire basically splits between the two fuses so mm. all we're going to do is go across your live and neutral so that's your red and your black so put your multi on voltage of what you have there so we're going to go across your red any of them fuses so put, just put one on your red the bottom just one just one that's it and then you have one on the black, see the black wire, on you know the black wire, the black wire, yeah, that's it, hold it there, so that's nothing there, so keep it on the red, on the fuse, mm -hmm. and then can you see the earth, which is next door, yep. not, 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 and that's one again, the earth, yep, that one, yep, put it on there, and that's off, so that's good. And then just keep it on the earth and then move, take the red off the fuse and put it on the blue, yep. the neutral. Any of them, and that's good. So that's our priority check, so we know it's off. Okay, you can release. Now, the next thing we're going to do is going to see if these fuses are blown. So there's two fuses in there, one in there and one in there. And I pull out like a little cartridge like that. So what we'll do with our multimeter, we'll put it on continuity and check to see if the fuses are good. Right, so I'll just go across there. So that's okay. Right. Yeah, that one behind it is a spare one. All right. Oh. Do you want to go to the one next door now? Missing one here at the front, isn't it? It's all missing. The, the front one's missing. The back one's not. Right, go at the back one then. That's got off. Right, so that's dead. That's dead, yeah. Right, okay. The and front. In that other one, yeah. There's no, there's no other one in the, the front. There's nothing there. Nothing there. Either. Okay. All right. So one's gone. Right. Now for that to blow, that front one, like you said, was gone. Mm -hmm. What we're now going to look at is checking. The heating element because this is a typical thing what will blow that. So, we're going to check the resistance on this heating element, it should be about 12.5 ohms. So, we're going to check it, put our meter to resistance, and then we're going to come down here. And what we're going to do, we're going to go across. Go across this live neutral here and let's see what we're getting resistance reading. So that's not good. Right, so we're going to check the other two. See on there and again, try and see if you can get more connection. So it's not, that one's 11, no it's not, yeah it is, right, so let's go back to the front one again, so you're on there, let's see, so that's 4, so, yeah so it's all over the place, okay, so that's not looking good, so I think this is definitely, damaged to blow that 
what we're going to do as well, we're going to check the pumps. So you've got three pumps on this boiler. Mm -hmm. This is the bottom one down here. This is the primary pump. What that does, that pumps basically the water into this heating element. Because that's basically like the boiler what gets hot, heats up the water. The pump pumps into that, out of that, into the, the store, the thermal store, and basically heats up the thermal store. Mm -hmm. So the purpose of this pump is to pump into this, out into the store and heat the store up. Yep. So that's the primary pump. The other pump here, this one, this is for the hot water. So that takes the water out of the thermal store when it's hot and then pumps it into the plate heat exchanger. There's the like a combi. Yeah, for yeah. the hot water, right? For hot water, yeah. And then you've got this other pump. This is for central heating. So when the heating's called for, that again draws the primal water and then just pumps straight into the radiators. Mm -hmm. Coming out of the heat store. Right, okay. So that's why you got the three pumps. So what we're going to do now is going to check the resistance of this pump. We can check it from the PCB. So if we go to the PCB here. Uh, so here, this is the um, feed to the pump, that primary pump. And then you've got these other connections here. These are the feeds to the tubal pumps, the hot water one and the central eating. This should be labelled. Oh yeah, if you look here. Can you see that DHW pump? Mm -hmm. And then below it there, it will have heating pump. Yeah, boiler pump. And then the boiler pump is that primary pump, what we just said. So what we can do, we can pull this plug off that should come off like that and then we can put a multimeter down there and then get a reading and we can compare the others as well and see if this either indifferent or around about the same gives you an idea if they're all the same that means they're all good and if there's something like really different from the others then you know that could be a problem. Okay, let's check that out. So, like, so if you look at your two colours I have this head, that's your brown and blue, the first two. So you put your multimeter on there. Connections there. Let's have a look what we got here. So it's looking all right. So let's check and compare the others. Yep. So, what we'll do is put that back on there for a minute. So these two and then two we're going to go across. So I'll just do the same again. So we'll start with these two. So they're in. That's good. So that's similar. Yeah. And then these two here. So it's them two. Yep. One minute, one minute, one sec. No, not no, no, it's the second one and then third. So let's just make sure you're on a good connection on there. Do that again. So yeah, it's definitely them two. No, that's way out from the others. So, okay. So that tells us that that pump is a problem one. So we put the plugs back in. Now looking at that. 
It's shown that it's a central heating one, which is that problem one, part of 300 and odd, mm -hmm. and the other's like 172, 180. So this is a central heating pump one. I'm going to take the cover off by undoing that screw there. So potentially there's two problems up to now. We've got the central heating pump, which is this, and we've got the heating element, which is that. Why? That fuse is blown, that's what we said earlier. So basically, we're going to have to change the pump and the heating element. So that's like a full drain down job. Hopefully, once that's done, providing it's not damaged the PCB, because that could be a problem as well. It might have done damage that, it might not. We don't know, and basically until we, we pull it back on. Apologies for my voice going up and down, it's because I've got my mask on. Um, so, that's what's going to be next. Now I've noticed another problem as well, that the pressure is a bit low. Not too low, but it's lowish enough. And um, the film mechanism is here. That's So at this point here, it fills through that, which is open. You can see it's across the pipe, sorry, flowing with the pipe. It goes down that pipe here and fills into there. So we might have another problem on filling once we drain it down. So there's quite a lot of challenges on this boiler. But this is what the master engineer has to deal with. Overcome all challenges. So just to summarise this type of situation, if you come across this, you go across, well go over, the checks what we did, the polarity checked first, resistance checks what we did, go through that, then you can pinpoint what part is defective, and then you can do the necessary job to change them, them parts. So that's going to be the end of this video. So if you want to find out more about what I do, or if you want to look at more how-to videos of what we do, you can join our Mastering Bar Repair program. If you click on the link below this video, you can subscribe to that and find out more in depth on how to do the job. So that's going to be it from me on this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.